Hello students, in previous videos we discussed about the cryptographic protocols and we are just why we go for the cryptographic protocols related that information we gone through. Now in this video let's see about the different types of the candidate protocols. So in the candidate protocols as I told you are having the seven candidate protocols before developing the any protocol first you have to make assumption and based on that assumption you can develop the protocols here. So for this is the first protocol among seven protocol one is the assumption. There are three assumptions that we have to make before running this protocol. First assumption is that Bob has to access to the source of randomness and allies and Bob already share a symmetric key that is known only to them. And Alice and Bob agree to agree on the use of a strong MAC algorithm, message authentication uh, code algorithm. For generating the message authentication code, which algorithm you want to use, that one must be agree first. And one key you are using here, that is the symmetry key for, for encryption and for the decryption. And you are, you are generating the randomness and which pseudo random generator algorithm you are going to use, that one is known by the allies and the Bob here. So these are the assumption. Assumption is what? These are the things are already known by allies and Bob. And based on that assumption, protocol one is developed here. So in the protocol one, Bob will send the allies message here. So this message contains what it is, nouns of the B here. RB is the nouns and Bob only know that which soda random, uh, okay, random generator you are using to generate the nouns and with the help of that uh, no source, uh, Bob will generate the nouns that is the RB and that is concatenated with the, it's Bob, it is the identification of Bob, are you okay? is the message here and this message you are sending to the allies when allies receive this message so now after receiving this message what allies will do allies will generate or create a message authentication code and this message authentication code what is the algorithm you are using that algorithm is known by allies and bob and with the help of that one and key that is also it is already shared between the allies and bob with the help of that key so now allies will generate a message authentication code for this message this message contains what rb rb is the announced it is already sent by the bob and identification of the bob and it sent as i am okay this is the reply message to the bob here this is your protocol one here so in the protocol after developing that protocol you have to make analysis so whether that protocol fulfill the all the requirements or not or security goals or not first one is the data origin authentication of allies reply so for data origin authentication of allies reply you have to check here so for the allies reply what it contains allies reply contain the information is what identification of the bob and knowns of the bob here and MAC address okay so this MAC is known by the allies and the Bob only so this MAC what are the okay message authentication it will can generate no so that generation it is encrypted with the help of the key symmetric key and one Bob will receive so Bob will also perform the same message authentication for this message and what are the message authentication code you will get for this message and that one and Bob's allies and message authentication code it checks if it is matches then indicates what it is as this is the message I am receiving from the allies here. So this is about the data origin authentication of the allies reply. Freshness of the allies reply. So to prove the freshness here you are using the nouns. So nouns is the freshness. It proves the freshness. You already know that nouns is the one of the mechanism. So that freshness is the allies reply here. And assurance that allies reply corresponds to Bob's request. How will assure that this is the reply to the Bob message as here this is the RB as the nouns it is sent by the Bob and this is the reply that reply also contains the RB here and identification of the Bob and indicates what this is the message it is reply for whatever it is received by the Bob here is yes, this is the assurance that allies reply corresponds to Bob request here. So this is the analysis for the protocol one here and after making analysis at it okay it remit the goal of the data origin freshness and also assurance the allies reply correspond to Bob request here. So after meeting the security goals you can tell that as yes, this is the first protocol and this will fulfill the requirements of the security goals.
Next is for four of the components of cryptography protocol. So if you want to develop the any protocols for developing that, these are the four components you have to follow. First one is protocol assumption. So before developing the protocol, you have to make the assumption. Assumption is what it is, what it is known by the sender and receiver. So what are the informations are known by protocol uh, sender and receiver? That one we call as a protocol assumption. And protocol flow. Protocol flow is the order of the sending messages. So for example, here if I take what is the order? First, this message has to be received by the allies. Then only allies will send the reply to the that particular message. So this is the sequence. Instead of sending this first and this, this next means what? This is not the correct way here. So that's why sequence of the message flow is also very important and protocol messages, type of the messages, which type of the messages you want to send here. So that also you have to decide that is what we call as a protocol messages and protocol actions. Protocol actions is so now what actions you have to perform here. So as I told here, so now after perform message authentication code along with the message, your allies will send that message authentication code to Bob here. When Bob will receive same for the same message, Bob is also perform the message authentication code and what are the result you will get now that message authentication code value and what is sent by the allies message authentication code value if it is same. So then what is thing it to verify that as yes, I am receiving that from the allies here if it not matches. So what is the action you have to perform? You have to reject that particular message. Either you have to accept or you have to reject that is what we call as a protocol actions here. These are the four components you have to follow while developing the or designing the any of the protocols here. Next is protocol 2 here. So in the protocol 1 you are using the message authentication code whereas in protocol 2 you are using the signature of the okay message here. So same message so Bob will send a message that message contains what it is nouns of the Bob it's okay message okay it's Bob are you okay. And for that reply will be sent by whom? It is reply will send by the allies. That reply message contain what? Signature. And this signature is generated by whom? It is generated by the allies with the help of the signature method, signature generation key here. With the help of the signature generation key, A is the signature generation key and this allies will be, uh, generate the signature for this message and it will send to reply as to the Bob here. And Bob know the verification key. Okay, so now Bob know the verification key with the help of that key Bob will check the signature of the allies here. So if it is correct then it indicates what is I am receiving the message from the allies here. So in the protocol 1 you are use the MAC whereas in the protocol 2 you are using the signature here. Okay. So remarks of protocol 1 and protocol 2. Protocol 1 has an advantage in that it is more computationally efficient. Since computing max generally involves less computation than signing and verifying the digital signature. So for signing and for verifying the digital signature, what are the computations you are required now? Comparatively, max is simple here. So that's why it is efficient. And also protocol 2 has the advantage that it could be run between an analyst and Bob who have not pre-shared a key here. So long as Bob has access to the allies verification key here. So whereas in protocol 1 you are sharing the symmetric key between the allies and Bob whereas in protocol 2 you are not sharing any key. Allies will know the signature generation key and with the help of that allies will generate key and Bob have the allies verification key and with the help of that Bob will make the verification here. So that's why sharing between the sharing of the key between the allies and Bob is not necessary. That is the advantage of protocol 2 here. Next is protocol 3. So in the protocol 3 you are sending the same procedure. So first Bob will send a message and allies will reply here. But in the reply message same procedure it is same as protocol 1 only but you are not including the identification of the bomb here. Okay. Whereas in the protocol 1 you are included the identifications of the bomb. So but in the protocol 3 you are removed that one. Okay, so if you remove the identification in the protocol 3, so then it may arise as the problem here. That is what we call as a reflection attack against the protocol 3. What is reflection attack? Let's see here. So this is the 
okay scenario allies bob and the attacker okay once again bob, bob will send the message instead of it is received by the allies attacker will receive the message and attackers will send the reply here rb it's allies are you okay just it give the identification as allies and nouns it is already generated by the okay bob and same message it sends to bob here when Bob will receive, Bob will send a reply to that message. What that reply message contain? It contain the message, message authentication code for this RP and S I am okay message here. Here identification is not required. That's why here identification is missing and it simply forward that to the attacker here. So for the attackers, what will do? Attackers will simply forward that message back to Bob here. So that is what we call as a reflection attack here. But Bob is not known that this is the game played by the attacker. Okay, Bob will think that what I am sending, I am receiving the message by the allies. That's why Bob will send, generate the message authentication code to prove the that I am the user and I want to, uh, okay, I am replying to the even message here. So, but it is the thing is what attackers will replay that same message. When Bob will receive that, Bob will think that, uh, Bob will think that that message is the received by the allies here and based on that reflection attacks will take place here. So what is the drawback of the this one? You have to include an action to check for this attack and you have to include an identifier. So if such type of the attack if it is absent, happens in the protocol 3, you have to perform action here. And you have to include the identifier. Instead of using that uh, identification, because of uh, missing that protocol uh, identification, so here what happens here, that attacker will play the replay attack here. So instead of doing that, if you are add the identification, then you can prevent from such type of the attack here. And if in attacks will happen, then you have to make check the some action you have to perform here. Okay, what is the action? So here Bob has to know that I am sending the same message. Okay, so if Bob kept the okay all the what are the transaction has taken place now related that information if it is known by the Bob, then Bob will get to know that this is the message what it is sent by me. So that is the what we call as a check top for this attack here to overcome from this attack. So now you are using one more protocol that is the protocol 4. So in the protocol 4, what is the procedure you are doing? Same procedure. So here also Bob will send the message. That message contain knowns and the message here. And when allies will receive that message, allies will send the reply. That reply message contains what? Nouns and authentic authentication of the Bob message. And instead of using MAC, MAC uh, message authentication code, so here you are using the encryption algorithm. So message authentication code is like your hash function. With the help of that, you are generating generating the authentication code. So, but instead of doing that, just you can encrypt the message using encryption algorithm and key is known by both allies and Bob, that is you are using the symmetric key here. So, protocol assumption for this protocol 4 is what it is. Agree on the use of strong symmetric encryption algorithm e here. Instead of using MAC here, you are have to agree to use the symmetric encryption algorithm. And protocol description is what it is. Instead of computing and comparing the received MAC on the replay text, Bob will simply decrypt the received encrypted replay text here. So, if it is the MAC is there, then Bob also has to perform the, okay, computation to calculate that what are the messages received for that Bob will also perform the okay function to generate the MAC and after that it has to compare with the LS MAC if both are same then only it uh, indicates what is I am receiving the message from the LS here so that one you can prevent using this encryption so in the encryption and decryption what is the procedure Bob only simply use that symmetry key and take they can decrypt the message whatever the message it is sent by the allies here protocol analysis the key second is what is the problem with the protocol for it does not provide the data origin authentication so here you are not providing the data origin authentication so problems that may arise with encryption is used to provide data origin authentication data origin authentication it is with the help of the mac it is possible so but in the encryption okay because encryption does not in general provide data origin authentication whereas mac will provide the data origin authentication but encryption does not provide that is the problem with this protocol over here so these are the uh, information regarding the sub four candidate protocols is it clear now in next video i'll explain about remaining protocols is it okay thank you